फिजियोस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आवर चैनल फिजियो विद्यापीठ वी आर बैक विद अवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन गैल्वेनिक करंट ओके सो इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट फेराडिक करंट एंड नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट गैल्वेनिक करंट ओके सो माई नेम इज विजय कुमार एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टिंग सी इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर विच वॉज ऑन फेराडिक करंट वो यूज दैट करंट टू स्टिमुलेट द इनरवेटेड फाइबर दैट इज द मसल विच आर प्रॉपरली इनरवेटेड दैट इज दैट इज विद द इंटैक्ट नर्व सप्लाई वो यूज फेराडिक करंट बट वट अबाउट द डिनरवेटेड फाइबर्स हेयर कम्स द हेयर कम्स द मॉडिफाइड डीसी और इंटरप्टेड डीसी ऑल्सो कॉल्ड गैल्वेनिक टाइप ऑफ करंट so it is used to stimulate the denervated fiber that is the muscle fiber which are having which are having the nerve supply which is not adequate okay not adequate so here we are using it so what is the frequency its frequency is 30 to 100 hertz what was about faradic it was 1 to 30 hertz what is the duration here it is 1 to 300 or even up to 600 millisecond What was in Faradic? It was 0.121 millisecond. See, among Faradic and Galvanic, Galvanic is having slightly high frequency. Though both of them are under the low frequency current. Okay, so this is about the general introduction. Next, why we are using this interrupted DC? Okay, why we are using interrupted DC? In Faradic, we studied about surging. That is the surge Faradic current. here we will study about interrupted dc the explanation is same there also and here also the continuous strain of impulse if we do not give interrupted dc that is we are using the direct current as it is it will produce a tetanic type of contraction that is a sustained muscular contraction but that type of muscular contraction is not useful for us because in our daily activities we are using contraction and relaxation okay that is uh, there is not uh, any condition in which we are using uh, sustained contraction a tetanic type of contraction so we are using the interrupted dc current and this interruption can be of two type first is sudden and second is gradual under sudden it is the rectangular pulses you can see suddenly it increased then remain constant suddenly it decreased again there is no pulse suddenly it increased then remain constant suddenly it reduced as the name suggest this is the this is the sudden interruption which is rectangular next is the selective impulses that is the gradual type so interruption can be of two type na first is sudden i have explained it that is current increase remain constant decrease increase remain constant decrease everything is happening suddenly but in gradual that is the selective impulses also called accommodation impulses why it is called accommodation impulses i will explain you first of all you will study that the selective impulses are of three type which are slow see slowly the current increase slowly it decrease then no current again slowly it increase then decrease then no current increase decrease here also slowly it increase then remain constant slowly it reduce here slowly increased but decreased suddenly okay but decreased suddenly so we can see that these are a type of these are a type of selective impulses which can be triangular trapezoid and sort of okay these are of three types now why it is called accommodation impulses c in galvanic though we can use rectangular impulses to stimulate the denervated muscles it is of no problem okay that is we can use rectangular pulse also but for better effect we are using these gradual impulses why because of two very beautiful explanation what first is that when we are using these kind of impulses these are slowly increasing now for example for example uh, this is a body part okay so so this is the muscle which is denervated and around it this is the muscle which is innervated 
Okay, so this line is the denervated muscle and this is innervated. And when I am applying current to this muscle, definitely some current can also move towards that muscle. Yes, and as my current is of slowly increasing intensity, मतलब उसकी intensity धीरे धीरे बढ़ रही है. So ये जो innervated muscle है, it can accommodate. Yes. So whenever I am applying the galvanic current to a denervated muscle, and if I am using this slow impulses, the innervated muscle which is placed near to the denervated muscle will get accommodated and do not get stimulated, which will reduce the faulty application. So it is good to use the slowly increasing impulses because it can. Help the innervated muscle to accommodate और वो response नहीं देगा purely एक denervated muscle का ही हमें response देखने को मिलेगा. Second explanation क्या है? Second explanation is that that lesser intensity पे stimulation हो जाता है जब हम selective impulse use कर रहे हैं as compared to rectangle. So इसका क्या फायदा? Sensory stimulation जो है वो selective impulses में कम होता है जिससे एक कंफर्टेबल जो है फीलिंग पेशेंट को मिलती है और स्टिमुलेशन हो जाता है सो दिस इज अबाउट द डेफिनेशन एंड वेरियस वेव फॉर्म एंड अदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट इन अवर बॉडी एवरी मसल विच इज इनर्वेटेड वॉज स्टिमुलेटेड बाय फेराडिक करंट एंड एवरी मसल विच इज डिनर्वेटेड कैन बी स्टिमुलेटेड बाय गैल्वेनिक करंट Except the facial muscle, okay? In facial muscle, we are using the we are using the galvanic current. Why? What is the reason? Somebody can ask. Your whole body muscle is innervated. You used ferradic current, but why on the facial muscle you are using you are using the galvanic current? It is because of two things. First, because the ferradic current can cause the cause the secondary contractures on the facial muscle, which is not produced by galvanic current also also it can prevent the any kind of burn okay because the facial muscles are very small and delicated with the least or less type of uh, a bony attachment okay bony attachment is reduced so for facial muscle we are using the we are using the galvanic current and i have explained you the reason then important thing is that that here pulse interval मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन पल्स ड्यूरेशन मतलब जितने समय के लिए पल्स नहीं आ रही वो ज्यादा होना चाहिए एज कंपेयर टू जितने समय के लिए करंट आ रहा है सो so, वो समा जिसके लिए करंट नहीं आ रहा वो ज्यादा है एज कंपेयर टू द टाइम फॉर विच द करंट इज कमिंग दैट इज रेस्ट टाइम जो है वो बड़ा है टू ग्रेटर देन हंड्रेड मिली सेकेंड मतलब उसको हम तीन सौ या 500 मिलीसेकंड के ऊपर सेट करेंगे एंड फिराटिक में तो मैंने आपको बताया था दैट इज वी अप्लाई द इलेक्ट्रोड ऑन द मोटर पॉइंट बट हियर द मसल इज डिनर्वेटेड सो मोटर पॉइंट आर नॉट वर्किंग वी विल डायरेक्टली प्लेस द इलेक्ट्रोड ऑन द एंड ऑफ बेली दैट इज एंड ऑफ मसल बेली ओके सो दिस वॉज अबाउट द अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट वट इज गेलवेनिक करंट What is its frequency? What is its duration? What are interrupted DC current? What are the type of interruption? इसको क्यों use किया? पहला point it helps to the help in accommodation of innervated muscle, so it will not respond. Only the denervated will respond. Second, lesser intensity पे stimulation है, so sensory stimulation कम है, current is comfortable. Then facial पे इसको क्यों use किया? Because uh, to prevent the secondary contractures then pulse ka interval should be more than the more than the pulse duration which means the resting time is more and last thing is that depolarized pulse okay so in some modalities there is another option of depolarized pulse so if you will i will hide this part you can see it is similar to as rectangular pulses yes and in this there is a reverse current okay Slight amount of low intensity reverse current in the second phase, okay, and it help to and what is the advantage if we are using depolarized pulses? It help to reduce the chemical changes under the electrode. Reduce the chemical changes 
अंडर द इलेक्ट्रोड विच मीन कोई बॉल वगैरह जल्दी नहीं होगा सो डी पोलराइज पल्स क्या है और इसका क्या यूज है इट इज अ पल्स विच इज सिमिलर टू द रेक्टेंगुलर पल्सिस बट इट है लो इंटेंसिटी करंट इन द इन द नेगेटिव फेस एंड इन द रिवर्स डायरेक्शन दैट इज इन द नेगेटिव फेस ओके सो दो फेस है ना इट इज द पॉजिटिव फेस ये नेगेटिव फेस इसमें क्या है नेगेटिव फेस में भी एक करंट होगा जो कि जो कि जिसका क्या बेनिफिट है इट हेल्प टू रिड्यूस द केमिकल चेंजेस ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द फर्स्ट पार्ट नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द फिजियोलॉजिकल इफेक्ट ऑफ गेलवेनिक करंट नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द फिजियोलॉजिकल इफेक्ट ऑफ गेलवेनिक करंट ओके सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इन केस ऑफ फेराटिक करंट द कॉन्ट्रेक्शन विच यू कैन यू विल बी वॉचिंग प्रोड्यूस बाय द करंट इज गुड दैट इज बट हेयर इट इज अ स्लगिश और अ वॉर्म लाइक कॉन्ट्रेक्शन विच इट सेल्फ रिक्वायर हाई इंटेंसिटी ओके सो दिस इज द मेजर वी कैन से चंक टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इन फिराटिक करंट प्रॉपर मस्कुलर कॉन्ट्रेक्शन इज सीन बट हेयर अ स्लगिश वॉर्म लाइक एंड अ ब्रिस्क टाइप ऑफ कॉन्ट्रेक्शन इज प्रोड्यूस्ड सो वट आर द फिजियोलॉजिकल इफेक्ट फर्स्ट इज स्टिमुलेशन ऑफ सेंसरी नर्व एंड सेकेंड इज स्टिमुलेशन ऑफ मोटर नर्व ओके सो दे आर वेरी सिंपल स्टेबिंग और बर्निंग सेंसेशन इज प्रोड्यूस्ड ओके सो द सेंसेशन ऑफ गेलवेनिक करंट इज इधर स्टेबिंग और बर्निंग सेंसेशन ऑल्सो द रिफ्लेक्स डायलिटेशन ऑफ ब्लड वेसल अकर ओके विच कॉज द रिदमा वाई बिकॉज वेन एवर देर अकर अजो डायलिटेशन ब्लड फ्लो टू द बॉडी पार्ट इंक्रीज डेफिनेटली इट विल प्रोड्यूस रेडनेस विच इज कॉल्ड रिदमिया ओके नेक्स्ट इज द स्टिमुलेशन ऑफ मोटर नर्व मसल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन डेफिनेटली वेन वी आर स्टिमुलेटिंग द मोटर नर्व मसल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन विल अकर एंड दैट कॉन्ट्रेक्शन इज अ ब्रिस्क टाइप ऑफ कॉन्ट्रेक्शन दैट इज अ ट्विच लाइक फॉलोड बाय इमीडिएट रिलैक्सेशन ओके दैट इज वेन वी आर अप्लाइंग गेलवेनिक करंट एंड एज आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दैट द रेस्ट टाइम रेस्ट टाइम इज ग्रेटर देन हंड्रेड मिली सेकेंड so definitely there will be a brisk type of contraction so there will be contraction then relaxation okay that is what i have written that brisk contraction ya yeah, twitch it is followed by relaxation okay so this is only about the physiological effect that how sensory uh, innervation it is if how it affect the sensory part and the motor nerve okay in sensory nerve it help to it help to produce the Vaso dilatation, which will increase the blood flow, and stabbing or burning sensation is produced. And in motor nerve, it will produce muscular contraction, which is slow and sluggish, but a brisk type of contraction or a twitch-like contraction followed by relaxation. Now we will study about the therapeutic effect of galvanic current. Okay, so there are very different type of controversies. regarding its use but it is used widely in case of in case of denervated muscle and what are the uses okay so first is the stimulation of denervated muscle see it is the stimulation of denervated muscle controversy exist but it is important treatment in peripheral nerve injury maintain healthy state of muscle that is it retard see in simple words i am saying that there are a lot of controversies whether it should be used or not but still it is used a lot in case of peripheral nerve injury why because it help to reduce the loss of voluntary activity and reflex activity why because if there is injury to a nerve definitely the voluntary activity and reflex activity will be reduced and to prevent the further loss we use it atrophy yes because the muscle is not contracting voluntarily okay so definitely there will be a disuse type of atrophy and if we are using the galvanic current which will produce contraction in the denervated muscle atrophy will be reduced further degeneration and fibrosis is also reduced also fibrillation which is uh, we can say a spontaneous contraction of fibers it is also reduced by the application of galvanic current so there are various harmful effect of a muscle when it get denervated and that all harmful effect are 
रिड्यूस्ड बाय द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ गैल्वेनिक करंट ओके देन इट इज यूज इन फॉलोइंग कंडीशन सी नाउ प्लीज बिकम मोर अटेंटिव इन द न्यूरोप्रेक्सिया वेयर देर वॉज अ कॉम्प्रेशन ऑन द नर्व वी वर यूजिंग फेराडिक करंट बियॉन्ड द पॉइंट ऑफ रीजन यानी कि जहां पर कॉम्प्रेशन हुआ उससे बियॉन्ड जाकर उस पॉइंट पे नर्व को स्टिमुलेट करो एंड डेफिनेटली रिकवरी विल अकर नाउ इन केस ऑफ एक्सोमोटोमेसिस इट इज सिंपल जस्ट यूज द गैल्वेनिक करंट दैट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन एंड रिकवरी इज एंटीसिपेटेड नाउ इन न्यूरोटोमेसिस हेयर वेयर नर्व रिपेयर इज टू बी अंडरटेकन और हैज बीन अंडरटेकन See, these both injuries we can use ferradic as well as galvanic. In neuropraxia, it is simple. Use ferradic current beyond the point of compression. Simple. But in axonotomesis and neurotomesis, before fourteen days, before fourteen days, that is fortnight, use ferradic current. because during this time the degeneration that is valerian type of degeneration has not yet completed so slight response can be there so we can use the ferradic current but after but after 14 day that is degeneration is completed there will be no response to ferradic current so you will see because these type of injuries when occur you need to focus that when was the first time he got his nerve injured so before 14 days there will be a response by ferradic current and after 14 day you will see that there is no response by ferradic current yes then the then the galvanic current comes into play then you use the galvanic current okay so this is the important thing which you need to understand and in axonotomesis you can use the galvanic current where the recovery is anticipated and in neurotomesis also but in most of the neurotomesis cases we first of all do the nerve repair so there is an individual okay for example i had my nerve injury it is my first day so my my uh, up to my first 14 days i can get ferradic current after 14 days If recovery is anticipated, okay. If it was axonotomesis, then recovery can be can be expected by the galvanic current. And if there occur no recovery, even by the galvanic current, then definitely it will be a neurotomesis. Then I will first of all go for a surgery which will repair my nerve. That is, nerve suturing will be done. Then I will again come back to a physiotherapist. That yes, now I have. Uh, done my get got my nerve repaired but still i am not able to do the voluntary contraction then which type of current will you use you will see that now the nerve is repaired will you use ferradic or galvanic you can see though the nerve repair is completed i okay, i am agreeing but the patient is not able to do the contraction which means it is not working yet it is still in the denervated condition then also that is after the nerve repair then also you are going to use galvanic current it is important not to assume that as because muscle is recovering a ferradic current should be used don't assume like this okay in fact long duration current of 30 millisecond you know 30 millisecond is is galvanic current is more comfortable and effective so this is about the about the therapeutic effect which is the stimulation of denervated muscle fiber so i have explained you uh, in the manner that how injuries occur and how you are going to treat in neuropraxia just you know need not to worry go and apply ferradic current but here Before fourteen day ferradic, after fourteen day if recovery occur, which means that after fourteen day you can apply galvanic current and recovery can be anticipated if it was a axonotomesis and if no recovery occurred then first of all go for a surgical procedure that is nerve repair then you again use the galvanic 
करंट ओके सो दिस वॉज अबाउट द थेरापिक इफेक्ट नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द टेक्निक ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ गैल्वेनिक करंट नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द टेक्निक ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ गैल्वेनिक करंट ओके सो इट इज वेरी सिमिलर टू फेराडिक करंट विद स्लाइट डिफरेंस ओके सी फर्स्ट इज द प्रेपरेशन ऑफ ऑपरेटर्स विच यू ऑलरेडी नो कनेक्ट द इलेक्ट्रोड टू द आउटपुट सॉकेट स्विच इज टर्न टू आर द गैल्वेनिक करंट बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू यूज द गैल्वेनिक करंट दैट इज आई डी सी आई डी सी ओके इंटरप्टेड गैल्वेनिक करंट ओके सो योर मोडेलिटी विल बी हैविंग विल हैव रिटर्न एस आई डी सी ओके नेक्स्ट इज पल्स इज सिलेक्टेड यूजली एट हंड्रेड एम एस दैट इज द पल्स ड्यूरेशन एंड रेस्ट इंटरवल इज ऑल्सो सिलेक्टेड देन सिलेक्ट द शेप ऑफ इम्पल्स डेफिनेटली यू विल बी यूजिंग स्लोली राइजिंग पल्सिस वाई बिकॉज इट हेल्प टू अकोमोडेट द इनरवेटेड मसल सो ओनली द इनरवेटेड मसल विल बी विल बी स्टिमुलेटेड नेक्स्ट इज प्रेपरेशन ऑफ पेशेंट क्लीन द स्किन बाय सोप एंड वॉटर ऑल्सो इरिगेटेड बाय वन परसेंट सेलाइन एंड इफ देर इज एनी काइंड ऑफ ब्रोकन स्किन यू कैन अप्लाई पेट्रोलियम जेली ऑन इट एंड देन यू कैन गिव स्टिमुलेशन then place the muscle in shortened position yes this thing is important okay you can mark a star point here normally place the muscle in the shortened position also can be placed in a partially lengthened position when only if contraction can shorten the muscle and produce the movement see what i am explaining is that in generally we are going to place the muscle in a shortened position okay muscle is placed in a shortened position but it can also be placed in a lengthened position when when the muscle contraction is occurring and it can produce the movement that is the contraction produced by galvanic current is good enough to produce the to produce the movement that is what i have explained in the in the previous part that is the contraction of the denervated muscle is a slow warm like contraction okay so that is why it is placed in a shortened position and if contraction is good we can place it in the lengthened position next is the application again it is simple what we what we were doing negative electrode was our cathode that is passive and positive electrode was our anode and it was active electrode okay so active electrode is connected to anode okay active electrode is our anode but here we we can switch it but not on this check whether anode and cathode together uh, check whether anode or cathode or cathode produce a response better response that is used as active electrode see up to the ferradic current we have understood that anode is our active and cathode is our passive but here we can check both the things that is either anode contraction is good or cathode contraction is good so you can use both the electrode and which is comfortable you can use okay so this is about the application i am explaining you once again in general the cathode is negative and anode uh, and anode is positive also this the all is active and this is passive active electrode is connected to anode but not always that is passive can also be connected to anode okay whether anode or cathode produce better response that is used as active electrode so active electrode is that electrode in this case which is producing a better response first of all you can choose anode and then you can use cathode which is more comfortable and producing more better response that electrode is taken as the active electrode so you understood in case of ferradic and galvanic it is fixed that is anode which is positive is active and cathode which is negative is passive but here the here active electrode can be either anode or cathode which is producing more comfortable and better contraction then method of application it can be either labile or stable what does this means 
इन लेबाइल द पैसिव इलेक्ट्रोड इज प्लेस ओवर द ओरिजिन ऑफ मसल एंड एक्टिव इलेक्ट्रोड इज द पेन इलेक्ट्रोड ओके एंड यू कैन प्रोड्यूस द कॉन्ट्रेक्शन बाय मूविंग द पेन इलेक्ट्रोड लॉन्गिट्यूडनली ओवर द मसल बैली एंड वट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर अरेन्जमेंट हेयर एज पैसिव इलेक्ट्रोड इज फिक्सड बट द एक्टिव इलेक्ट्रोड इज द पेन इलेक्ट्रोड विच कैन बी यूज टू स्टिमुलेट अ मल्टीपल मसल इन अ सिंगल सेशन बट इन केस ऑफ स्टेबाइल वन इलेक्ट्रोड इज एट ओरिजन एंड अदर इलेक्ट्रोड इज एट द अदर एंड ऑफ द मसल एंड वट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर अरेन्जमेंट वन मसल इज रिपीट वन मसल इज स्टिमुलेटेड रिपीटेडली दैट इज लार्ज नंबर ऑफ कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ सिंगल मसल इज प्रोड्यूस हेयर वन इलेक्ट्रोड इज प्लेस एट ओरिजन एंड अदर इज प्लेस ऑन द लोअर एंड ऑफ द मसल बेली ओके सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन लेबाइल एंड स्टेबाइल इन लेबाइल वन इलेक्ट्रोड इज एट ओरिजन एंड अदर इज द पेन इलेक्ट्रोड विच कैन बी यूज टू स्टिमुलेट मल्टीपल नंबर ऑफ मसल दैट इज अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ मसल ग्रुप कैन बी स्टिमुलेटेड इन अ सिंगल सेशन इन स्टेबाइल वन इज एट ओरिजन एंड अदर इज एट द लोअर एंड ऑफ बेली एंड सिंगल मसल स्टिमुलेशन इज produced but a large number of contraction can be given so this was whole about the galvanic current okay so now we are finished with the galvanic current we have studied what is galvanic current it is its physiological its therapeutic effect and the technique of application hope you understand the lecture very well so in our next lecture we will again come back with some new topic till then you keep on studying thank you to one and all